News out in the last uh, half hour, UK's medicine regulator has approved the Moderna COVID vaccine for use. The UK already uh, has been administering the Pfizer and AstraZeneca uh, vaccines. You know, Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine appears to be effective against new variants of the virus, according to a study conducted by the drug maker. That study has not yet been peer-reviewed. Uh, for the latest on the battle against the pandemic, let's bring in former FDA Commissioner Dr. Scott Gottlieb. He currently serves on the boards of Illumina and Pfizer, and he's also a CNBC contributor. The, the, the new variants, Scott, are, are similar enough in, in the spike protein to where the, uh, the, uh, the opposite finding would be more surprising, at least to me, than, than this finding, that the vaccine does appear to be effective. Is, uh, do you agree with that? Yeah, I do, Joe. Um, you know, the vaccines are producing what's called a polyclonal effect, as you know. Um, it's the full-length spike protein in these vaccines. So you're producing antibodies against many regions of that spike protein. Um, the mutations are just mutating select regions on the spike protein. Now, what's concerning about the South African variant, perhaps the Scottish variant as well, is that they mutated the region on the spike protein where we developed some of our best antibodies. So they mutated the receptor binding domain, and that's the domain where we develop what's called neutralizing antibodies. Um, and so the, the worry is that if you change that region of the spike protein enough and the antibodies that would traditionally target that part of the virus are no longer operative, no longer as effective, the antibodies you're left with aren't as good. Now that doesn't seem to be the case yet. And it's also not gonna be the case probably that you're gonna see a sudden mutation um, where it's gonna obviate the vaccine within the span of one season. Uh, what you would likely see if in fact this virus is able to mutate in ways that evade our countermeasures and evade our vaccines is that the vaccine may lose effectiveness against certain strains but not others. But it wouldn't be the situation where you'd go into a season and it would be entirely ineffective or that we wouldn't see that coming. So, you know, I do think that this is not like the flu vaccine, um, but we're going to need to have a better surveillance system, and we're going to probably need to update these vaccines over time. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.